Good evening, YouTube. I want to show you my phase shifting coil. This was my first build with the rotor that I have to try to figure it out. And I feel I know what I'm doing. And I know how to make this perfect, I think. But it's going to be a challenge, but I know how. So this is the phase shifting coil. This is designed to shift the output wave 90 degrees from the phase that a regular pickup coil will have. Okay, so when this one's at peak, it peaks when the magnet is dead center, it peaks. This one at dead center, induction is exact, uh, induced voltage is exactly zero like usual coils. So when it's like this, this one's lined up with the center, this one's lined up with the center, this one's at peak, this one's at zero, 90 degrees phase difference from this coil as opposed to a regular coil. Now, this is in a perfect position where if you send a pulse, it propels the magnet, right? And guess what? This one will be at peak at the exact same time. It'll be at peak ready to deliver a pulse at the exact same time as this one is at zero, ready to accept that pulse. See where I'm going with this? There's a lot of interesting things that could come with this. Now... It isn't perfect because the magnet is not the same size as the core. Therefore, we have that M shaped because we're not matching perfect. The size matches good with where the magnets are, but the size of the magnet itself in relation to the size of the core is not correct on either one of these. Because as you know, the exact spacing the size of the coil should be spaced out. So every time one's leaving, one's coming in. But one's leaving here and the other one coming in is way to hell over here. So it makes that M shaped. But if we don't count that, because I know how to fix that. I'm going to give it a spin. Two coils 180 degrees apart from each other. My output wave is 90 degrees out of phase. Creates a situation where you have two polarities, one polarity in these two coils, one polarity in this one, the center portion of it, it overlaps. So you have two polarities hitting the center core at the very same time as that magnet is passing that center core. So think neutralization of lens drag at center when you're at peak voltage. And this is at zero, ready to receive a pulse at dead center, so it could become a prime mover. And this one is at peak, ready to deliver a pulse as this one's at zero. Plus the elimination of most or some or a very good percentage of lens drag. So, the spin, the induced phase shifting coil, I wanted to test um, my hypothesis and it's looking probable that you could control the phases and time it and eliminate some of the drag. How much is yet to be seen, but step in the right direction. Pretty cool.